twin sisters accused of an unthinkable crime, killing their own mother. Conyers police say they took Tasmaya and Jasmaya Whitehead into custody Friday morning. Hello and welcome to Reckless Crime. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Today we will be discussing the tragic story of Nikki Whitehead. In January 2010, the small town of Kinnears, Georgia was rocked by a shocking crime. Twin sisters Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead were accused of brutally murdering their mother, Nikki Whitehead. Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead were born on March 11, 1993, in Kinnears, Georgia. They were inseparable from birth and were known for their outgoing personalities and love for each other. But as they grew older, they began to experience some difficulties. Their parents divorced when they were young, and they lived with their mother, Nikki, who struggled to make ends meet. Despite the challenges, Nikki did her best to provide for her daughters and was a loving mother. But as they entered their teenage years, things started to take a dark turn. Jasmia and Tasmia began to rebel, skipping school, using drugs, and getting into trouble with the law. On January 13, 2010, Nikki Whitehead was found dead in her home, brutally beaten and stabbed multiple times. She was found dead in the bathroom. She had been beaten with a vase and stabbed repeatedly. The twins said that they discovered their mother dead. The police started investigating immediately and eventually arrested Jasmia and Tasmia, then just 17 years old. The trial was highly publicized and lasted for several weeks. The prosecution argued that the twins had committed the murder together and then tried to cover it up. But the defense argued that there wasn't enough evidence to prove their guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. In March 2015, after five years of legal proceedings, Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead were sentenced to 30 years in prison for the murder of their mother. Today, the twins are serving their sentences in separate prisons in Georgia, but their story continues to captivate and shock people around the world. Many questions remain unanswered about what led to this tragedy, and their case has sparked debates about mental health, domestic violence, and the criminal justice system. This is the tragic story of Nikki. Jasmia and Tasmia Whitehead, a mother and two inseparable sisters whose bond led them down a dark path. Check out this video of one of the twins' detailed interview of the crime committed against their mother. It wasn't like it was a fight on the street. It was more of a fight to somebody die. A fight with their mother after waking up late for school. So she just started waving the pot around, with things like that or whatever it is. So I guess she tried to hit us with the pot. You know, she just threatening us and everything. The girls say they got the pot away from her, but it was the start of an all-out brawl. Your mom's yelling? We all yelling. Yeah, everybody's yelling. We all is mad. I had to pop from her. This one she had grabbed and I kind of turned around and said, get back. But she didn't keep the knife in her hand. My mom was just, just went in that, that battle with the knife or whatever, so I, I picked up the pot. And I hate Jazz breaks this red vase over her mother's head. It was the first sign of blood, and her mother fought back. She bit me with my chest. I can say I'm not that big, so she's when she bit me, she latched on to me, and I'm trying to get her off of me because it hurts. I'm trying to punch her, I guess. And um, I think Jazz stayed up there. After more fighting, Jazz says at some point she begins to choke her mother with this ribboned medallion she won as a child. Her mother delivers a swift backhand blow, catching her by surprise. So I was stunned. I think I picked up a knife and I stabbed her. They wasn't cuts like they were deep because I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. After all the biting, punching, screaming, and stabbing, the twins drag their mother into the bathtub. Neither really explain why. You had about a hand? Yeah, I think I had it. I was at the top. And, and Jazz had her, her feet? It was just, she was heavy. What did y'all do? They put in the tub. But Nikki Whitehead was still alive. In fact, she was talking to the twins. What's she saying? She, she hated her. But what are you saying to her? I'm sorry. I'm not, I was, I I was sorry. Minutes later, they would watch their mother die. She went under a couple times and that was it. When that was it, I'm use your words, when that was it, what did you and your sister do? I, don't know, I guess we were shocked. We were really relieved. I guess what we done, what we did. I don't we cried. We cried for a long time. Then they would attempt to clean up, go to school, and begin their lies to police. We just started playing how we were just going to cover it up, I guess. 
The girls admit that when they returned, they expected the police would be there and their mother would not. The sight of what they had done was overwhelming. I really wish, I really wish it didn't happen like that. I wish I could have saw, saw something else to do. I wish I did. <laughs> Sorry. It was just confusion. It was like turmoil. It's just, it's just I'm getting nervous, though.